What's going on YouTube? Brandon from Creative Scales here today. I uh, figured I'd do a little video just kind of showing off and highlighting some of the animals that I got some of the amazing breeders here local. Um, figured I'd maybe show off, you know, three or four kind of animals and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which one's your favorite? So this girl here came from Matt Pistone. Uh, I don't think he's got Instagram, but I know you can find him on Facebook. He doesn't, I don't think he's got a business page. Uh, he's got some pretty crazy hypopied stuff. Uh, he's good with the freeway stuff as well. And this is a leopard pied girl. Just love how the leopard reacts with the pied there. You get those nice bandings. I find you get a lot of darker tones uh, out of the uh, color mutations uh, when you put the leopard in with it. So again, me with the banana stuff, uh, banana leopard pieds and stuff like that, I thought was going to be pretty cool. Love the head on this girl. You get those, uh, those little black speckles with the leopard as well. Nice looking girl. Thanks again, Matt. She should do nicely in the next, uh, you know, year or two to come. Uh, next animal uh, came from John Guio. Uh, oh, he's up here. This is a toffee pastel pinstripe or a toffee lemon blast if you want to call it by its name i love these colors in the, inside these patterns i think the toffee is going to be pretty big in the next few years and uh i was kind of sitting here looking at this this boy here and i was like you know what i was looking at the the pinstripe pied and how orange it was, and I thought how crazy it would be. Well, how crazy would you think it would be if I had bred this to a leopard pied? You can have a leopard pinstripe pastel toffee pied. Uh, of course, you'd be making the hats, but I thought it'd be pretty cool. I just want to play around and see how much contrast I can make out of this. Super cool boy. And that's Quantum Exotics, John Guio. Thanks again, buddy. He's doing fantastic here. Starting to build up the uh, the uh, arsenal here with the toffee stuff. I'm looking at uh, people like Manny from uh, Operation Python and Christian Jorgensen from Morph and Dorphins. They started to really get in on it too. Of course, Peter Williams, the, the king of the toffee. Michael Graham's pulling some weight over there. He's uh he's got a 1.1 that he had just picked up uh the toffee pied group. So, I think it's going to be pretty cool, I think. The next one here. <clears throat> I know I've showed this off in other videos, but I think I can't not. So, this came from Robbie Watson, bitten by the apple. This is that spot nose clown girl that is also Poss had hypo, and I was looking at a couple of spot nose clowns that have uh, been produced, and none of them kind of looked as bright as this, but you know them being kind of polymorphic, I guess they can definitely vary being ball pythons. But like the oranges in the dorsal here, they're they're crazy orange. So I don't I don't know maybe if that's the het kind of influence, maybe coloring it up a little brighter. Giving it a, a cleaner look overall, but being a pos het, you definitely don't know until you breed it out. I didn't really pick it up for the uh, pos het hypo aspect of it. It was just kind of a nice bonus. It was kind of a nice bonus that he sold it in the first place, but uh, I'm definitely glad I have it here. So that's Robbie Watson over at Bitten by the Apple. Uh, he's got uh, Instagram and Facebook, but he's not really tech smart. So he's kind of working on the Facebook more or less, and we're kind of getting them into the Instagram, showing them how to use the old hashtags and stuff like that. So, but crazy animals. And if you watched the video I posted yesterday, or the day before that, about the other animals I picked up from him, he's got some insane stuff. <laughs> now, another animal here that I got from uh, 
another breeder, uh, Christian, great person. Unfortunately, I don't have any ball pythons by him. But a few years ago, I did pick up a boa from him. I think it's a uh, Annery Het Hypo. I'm not too uh, good with the boa morphs, but the iridescence in this boy colors are wild and uh you know kind of the larger snake species did kind of intimidate me a little bit there's just something maybe not fun about being bit by one of these but uh, this boy has been absolutely fantastic super calm super docile never took a strike at me um and he just looks wild super super nice and Christian, that's morph endorphins. If you uh, if you're into boas of anything, definitely, definitely check them out. Um, all these breeders here are all in Canada and in Ontario. Um, just amazing. And the benefit to having one of these in the collection is if you order too many rats, these things are garbage cans. They will they'll just eat whatever you got left over if you don't want to keep them. They're definitely a great tool to have. He doesn't want to go back. Definitely a great little thing to have in the collection as far as uh, excess rodents go. But uh, thanks again, Christian. He's been doing absolutely fantastic. Um, so I just figured I'd do a little video, show off a couple of animals. Actually, there's going to be one more. Manny, I have to show this off. It's a black pastel, yellow belly. 66% head pied. Color, immaculate. So I bought this to uh, put in, hopefully, to a pied project with banana. Again, trying to darken the banana out. But what we noticed is the head pieds generally chain these uh, patterns together. So you see the tail there. Basically just one giant link. It's definitely a good indication that it's probably going to prove out head pied. Again, you can't say for sure until you breed it, but I'm going to put a little bit of money on it that uh, this girl does prove. Black pastel and yellow belly go so well together. So well. And she is just growing. So hopefully uh, next year she gets up to size and uh, see some pretty cool combos out of her. Well... Sorry about how uh, these videos don't get edited and uh, stuff like that. I definitely try to tweak it a little bit if I could. Unfortunately, this is all being run off a cell phone. So, um, you know, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you liked anything you see, leave a comment down below. Uh, even uh, if you want to see future videos and maybe what you'd be into, let me know in the comments below. And uh, have yourself a great day.